Hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here and like always, thanks for watching and welcome my friends to update number three on the TF2 build project, which is the Trial Finder 2 from RC4 Drive. And as you can see here, the project is completed. I got the body shell painted, all the scale items on it, and uh, it turned out really, really great. Now I do want to give credit where credit is due. My dad was a big help on this build. He helped me out so much on putting the vehicle together, having the parts ready for me and all that. I really do appreciate him. And I also want to say thank you to my buddy Paul for all the advice and tips he gave me on this truck because he's well knowledge in these type of trucks and he just gave me a, a lot of stuff, uh, tips and tricks of you know putting it together and stuff I needed to do and stuff like that. So I really do appreciate him for all his advice there. I really do appreciate it. So let's take a closer look at the truck and go over it. All right. Alright my friends, so here's a closer look at the truck and it looks pretty sweet my friends. Now I decided to go with a old school color scheme. So I went with this antique metallic gold and uh, which laid out very nice, looks great. There's a few scratches on here from where I took it out over the weekend and run it for the first time which you guys will see that video later on. But get back to the painting of it, it laid out very nice, I was very surprised by, by that. And uh, just looks really nice. Now I also did the bed, painted inside the bed as satin black. Also underneath the body shell is satin black. It's something I always done with my RC bodies. Uh, I would shoot my primary color that I wanted to go with, and then I would go back with a satin black and spray the inside. That way, it kind of it casts a shadow, and you don't really see a lot of your electronics and uh, you know the other side of the body shell and stuff like that. It's just a little trick I do, especially you were filming my vehicles. I do that so that way it casts a body, you know, casts a shadow inside, and you don't really see a lot of that stuff. So uh, yeah, all right. So let's get back to more of the truck here. Now uh, I also put all the little scale stuff that had on it that came with it: the lights, the uh, the bumper, the windshield wipers, the mirrors, the door handles. As you can see there, flip it around to the back here. Now I did not put the lights in the vehicle. I do have a set of lights, but it just don't work for it. So I had to actually order those lights uh, for it, but that'll be later on. Now another thing that I did here, and I'll try to zoom up on the camera if it can zoom up. If it, there, okay, all right. So I actually put a little pipe on the back of it. If you can size and see that, I might have to get it closer to you so you can actually see it. So zoom the camera back out. And let's see, there it goes. Alright, so I put a little pipe on the back of it, which is actually a uh, chrome toilet supply line that goes on your toilet. I don't know, I'm trying to get the light to uh, actually show it. Let's move one of the studio lights closer. I can't move any closer. <laughs> but uh, that was something I, I decided to do on it uh, to give it a little more character. I have a little pipe on there. So let's. Zoom the camera back out. <laughs> so yeah, but overall it turned out really nice. I also scaled out the bed here, and I'll show you that here. So I put my little Home uh, Home Depot toolbox right there, which is actually a gift card holder that you can get there at the store. And I put some um, some little fishing gear, little bucket, a um, little fishing rod, a net. I also put a couple of little drink cans in there. I got another one sitting over there in the corner. <laughs> so uh, that's some of the scout items I put there. I would, I'll put some more later on, but uh, right now I'm just really excited about the truck being done, and I really, really like it. And I did take it over. I uh, did take it out over the weekend and ran it, and it did an awesome job. Now uh, it's still not, uh, you know, it's not fully broken yet. Uh, with these leaf springs, they say you have to run it for about 80 hours or so or a few batteries to soften up these leaf springs before I can do any type of modification. Now, if you guys know something else, let me know, all right? <laughs> now, uh, yeah. Now, over here, I got a few items uh, that I use on the truck. And let me pull the camera off so we can actually go up there. Do, 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 do. All right. 
So here's a few of the items that I used on the truck, the electronics, the motors, and stuff like that. So I went with the RC4 Drive 55T Turn Crawler Motor, which is a brush motor. Then I did the uh, stainless steel kit for the trail finder as well, so that way I wouldn't have to do any deal with any type of like rust issues and stuff like that. So as you guys can see, if we can see it, all stainless steel screws, which is very nice. Something I should have done with my vehicles a long time ago, like my SCX-10-2 and the SCX-10-1. There we go. And I'll preview the Hummer down there, just <laughs> just to fit in. Okay, so uh, I went with an Axial ESC, which is the, well, that's the C-Hub covers. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't want to see how carry said uh, yeah well I wanted to use some type of labeling and I had it up there on my thing but I have the axial uh, ESC from the SCX 10 2 which I bought another one of course which is the X X5 or something like that I can't remember <laughs> oh, I hate when you can't remember things uh, oh there we go we can uh, there we go the e a e 5L ESC. So I went with that ESC just because it has the light ports on it. It's uh, capable of three cells and it's just a nice ESC. It's waterproof as well. Also went with some Bauhaus RC parts uh, which is now like almost like two hours for me or so. Uh, a few of those parts like the, uh, the low clearance skip plate which is one of the things and then the uh, shackles right there. It's uh, from Bauhaus RC. The battery I'm running is a three cell, 5,000 milliamped uh, <clears throat> Venom battery, <laughs> excuse me. And uh, that's what I'll be running in the truck. So uh, yeah. Now let's talk about the controller here. I got a Skyfly FS G2B three channel remote. So uh, my third channel is right here to operate the two speed transmission, which it's awesome by the way. I definitely am loving the two-speed transmission. Just having that, you know, the option where I can switch from high gear to low gear. Uh, that's just, you know, <laughs> really cool. So I really like that. So yeah. But uh, I really love the truck. You guys will be seeing a video of it running here soon on my, actually my new course that I just built here. Uh, here in my backyard, which you guys will see the videos on that soon, too. <laughs> I got a lot of videos that need to be put out, and I just hadn't had the time to, you know, really get out there and do it, but, or upload them to the channel. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that's the Trail Finder 2, my friends, all finished up. Well, for now, this truck right here, is, there's so many modifications that you can make to the truck, the interior. Oh, yeah, I'm already covering that. And I got the dashboard in there, if you can see it, right there. And uh, so, yeah. But this truck is a non-stop, you know, kind of thing. You can always scale it out and make it perform a lot better and stuff like that, which I'll eventually do right now. I've just got to pay down this truck before I do anything else to it. But it is an awesome-looking truck. I'm loving the scale features of it. <clears throat> it's just uh, a super cool RC truck and I'm really gonna love this especially hitting the trails and stuff like that so yeah my friends yep all right well my friends thank you for watching the video of the TF2 build project I'm sorry that I did not do a full build uh, series on it of putting it together because I did not know how to put it together myself so uh, I couldn't do it <laughs> and have to film at the same time and all that good stuff but yeah my friends so thanks for watching again, and I will see y'all in the next upcoming video of the Trail Finder 2.